Welcome back to Dorking Tech Tips. Today we will be looking at how to receive data from your system. This function can be used if you have lost data in your software or you are managing on multiple computers. To get started we recommend creating a test account to receive data into as receiving data will write over the data in your software. To create a test account click on the blank line with the asterisk then type the word test. This can be renamed later. After you have typed in the name test, click enter and you will be asked what series control board you have. This will most likely be a 30 series, so go ahead and click OK. You should now see your test account folder on the left. Go ahead and expand this folder by clicking the plus sign, then click on the word system information. When you have lost your data and are trying to receive data to repopulate your database, you will need to have some information. To start, the information you will need is the master code, and system phone, system ID, or system IP. Once you have entered this information, you are ready to try to receive data. Go ahead and click account in the top left. Now back on the account screen, click on the RCV data in the top toolbar. You should now see the Receive Data Now pop up. Go ahead and select your test account by checking the box next to your account. Then click the OK button. You should now get a warning pop up indicating that your information in your account will be overwritten with the data from the unit. Since we just created this test account, go ahead and click Yes because there is no data in the software yet. The Session Status window should now display your status. Hopefully you get a succeeded as I have here. However, if it fails, there are a few things to check. First click on the session above to bring up the details. The details will be displayed below. Here are some screenshots of failed sessions telling you what to fix in the system information screen. If you have received one of the error messages, simply correct the error in the system information page and try again. If you continue to have issues, make note of the session ID and let tech support know so that they can help correct any problems. Congratulations! With a succeeded session, you can now check your resident file to make sure you have received all the names and numbers. Go ahead and close the status window, then click on the resident in the file tree on the left under your account folder. With all your names and numbers showing up in the software, you should be able to continue like normal. One thing we will recommend here is to check out our DKS cloud option at dorking.com forward slash cloud. And we'll see you next time for more Dorking Tech Tips.